Hello again guys, it's Lori the Frugal Mom, part three of our No Bake Strawberry Cheesecake. I'm gonna put you down so you can see what I'm doing. Well, I'm not gonna put you down actually, I'm gonna pick you right back up. So what I did, I pushed our strawberry puree through our sieve, all of it, and you can see that's the pulp that's left. So you might be able to do something with that, but it's got all the seeds in it, so it doesn't tend to be too pleasant. Um, I made sure I scraped the underside as well as I could there's a little bit there. I'm going to get that in there too. <laughs> um, and we're left with this beautiful strawberry puree. So um, bear with me. I'm just going to scrape the bottom of it. Sorry about all these weird angles. It's hard when you're your own camera person. So here I go scraping. And I did make sure I rinsed off the spatula when I was using it to press it through the sieve so we don't get any um, strawberry seeds in. So I'm going to move you back over here. Sorry about my hand, guys. All right. Take our mixer and lean it up against the side of the bowl. And I'm going to add our strawberry puree mixture. All right. Not wasting any of it because it's so yummy. Okay. It smells like made strawberry ice cream in here guys all right so now I'm going to combine it <laughs> just kind of scrape down the sides once more. Put that back in. Taste it. I know, I licked my finger. But guys, th I'm serving this to my family. You know, they're my kids and my sister. I'm sure over the years, a lot worse has happened between all of us, right? Especially when you have babies. And you moms, you know that. <laughs> to mix it for a couple more minutes, maybe two, get all the chunks out. couple drops of red food dye. I don't do that. I don't feel it's necessary to do so. I like the color just as it is naturally. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some gelatin. I use Knox. You can use whatever, ever, ugh, sorry, you can use whatever brand you feel comfortable with. You're going to take a half of a cup, which I've already done, of cool water and two packets of the gelatin. This is a four packet box and you're just going to pour it into the water and just mix it and let it sit for five minutes so it blooms. And then we're gonna put it in the microwave for 30 seconds and I'm gonna go do that right now. Yep, it's definitely bloomed. Yep, starting to gel. It has no flavor or anything like that, you know, so you don't have to worry about it ruining the taste of cheesecake, which is good. Um, you know, it's a fairly easy thing to get affordable I think that box was three dollars and it's got four envelopes so um, I will add up how much this cost me to make there are more economical ways to do it if you watch your pricing but for an elegant dessert like this it's really not bad the strawberries were on sale at Aldi for $1.99 a pound and that's an awesome price all right there was our gelatin all right let's see. here it is let me show you after it's bloomed and it's been microwaved for 30 seconds, it's not too hot, I'm gonna mix that in slowly. So nothing curdles, there's no egg in this either, but this gelatin is what's gonna make it set in the fridge.
have with every step, I'm just going to stop the mixing for a sec, scrape everything down on the sides, make sure it's combined, make sure all the gelatin's in, all the cream cheese and mascarpone, you know, the vanilla, the lemon juice. We want to make sure it's all nice and combined in there and the strawberry puree, of course. A couple of seeds did get through, but that's okay. I think it just adds to it. And now I'm just going to put my mixer to the side. I'm going to tap off my beaters. I'm going to go right into the fridge to get our pie crust that we made earlier. It's been in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes. Let me go and get that real quick. Clean up a little bit as I go. Make room for that pie crust. I'm sorry I keep going in and out of, out of that frame. Bear with me. All right, and there's our eight inch um, spring form pan. <laughs> sorry, I forgot. And Natasha's recipe, she likes to use a nine inch or a 10 inch. I prefer this one because it comes out thicker. It takes a little bit longer to set in the fridge, but I'm gonna do this overnight, which I do most of the time, so it's okay. I added a couple more sheets of graham crackers to make it fuller, and it's set up perfectly. Okay, so here we go. We are going to add our beautiful no-bake cheesecake mixture into this spring form pan. It is going to be lovely and delicious, I promise you. I wish that you guys could smell it and taste it. It smells just like a strawberry sundae. It's so light and refreshing. This particular cheesecake has, gosh, it could have as, as many as 16 servings if you, you know, slice it conservatively. If you want to go a little bigger, it's eight slices. And I will top it with fresh whipped cream, which I'll use our heavy whipping cream for, and the rest of the strawberries. I, I bought two packages of strawberries only because we use them for other things, and I have to decorate the top. And the recipe calls for uh, the whole, a whole pound. And by the time you cut off the top of the strawberry, you're taking away from that. All right. As you can see, I got it all out. I'm just going to smooth it, and I'll show you what after. My spatula. All right. Now, like I said, this is going to take quite a bit to set up in the refrigerator, and that's okay. It's got some lumps in it, so I'm just going to scoop those out. Maybe I will just eat those off my spatula. What do you guys think? Should I? <laughs> Kind of like a yogurt consistency now and there's a couple more but they're not so bad the other ones were big they must have come from the bottom of the bowl without me noticing okay now i think that that's pretty enough it's nice and even i'm gonna tamp it down there we go you know what i got a little lumpy spot that i don't like so let's make that nice and pretty okay there we go. Mmm. I know. Yucky Lori, right? It's okay, though. All right. Here is our beautiful no-bake cheesecake. I'm going to put it in the refrigerator and let it set overnight. First, what I'm going to do is cover it with some plastic wrap. I'm going to make sure it's on a level surface in my fridge. And I will come back tomorrow morning and show you how we top it. Okay, guys? Have a great night. Please like and subscribe and share. I appreciate all of you so much, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow morning so you can see the finished product. Thanks!